in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to clean your air fryer. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I clean my air fryer. I have got the Ninja Dual Zone Air Fryer, but you can apply this to any air fryer that you've got. So I cooked bacon earlier on. This is what my greasy drawer of my air fryer currently looks like, and I'm gonna be showing you how I get it. Sparkly clean in no time whatsoever. So if you're looking for a thorough way to clean your air fryer, then keep on watching. As I mentioned, I cooked some bacon this morning and usually I will clean it straight away. But for the sake of this video, I wanted to show you a way of really giving your air fryer drawers a deep clean. And the way to do it usually is to clean it straight away once you've finished your meal sort of thing. But for the sake of this video, I thought I'd leave it. So for this video, you're going to need some soda crystals. These are super affordable. You can get them in most like supermarkets, household essentials like Home Bargains, B&M. Um, I've got the dry pack ones. Washing up liquid of your choice. I'm using this fairy one at the moment. A dishmatic is really handy. You want to make sure that it's the one, the scourer that's not too like scratchy. The white one's quite a good one because it's just, it's got enough like kind of resistance to clean, but it's not going to scrape your air fryer all around. Dishcloth. And then if it's very greasy, like my air fryer is today, you might want to consider some liquid soda crystals as well. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to get your tap running really, really hot. It's the best way to clean a very greasy air fryer anyway. So I'm gonna pop my tap on now. Really, I am doing some washing up as well, but for the sake of this video, it is just my air fryer. It's more cost effective to be running a bowl for several things to wash up even though i do have a dishwasher we normally have a few bits of washing up until your water is getting super hot then you want to put a scoop of the soda crystals in the drawer if it's not this greasy you don't need as much it's not completely full so this is a scoop that i did get with my Silip bang soda crystals i'm not sure of the measurements it's just got like 10 30 50 so i'm guessing that's like maybe 10 grams. So you probably need about 15 grams or maybe like a tablespoon amount of the soda crystals um, or just eyeball it. Um, if you've used soda crystals before, um, I don't really think you can use too much. If it's really greasy, use a bit more. If it's not that greasy, use a bit less. And then you can always go around the edges with the liquid soda crystal to really give it a very deep clean. So the water's coming through nice and hot now. You want to run a bowl of hot water with your chosen washing up liquid and then once you've run the bowl and then the water's really hot you want about half a scoop of soda crystals just sprinkle it all around the air fryer drawer with the really hot water and then let the hot water soak in to the soda crystals in your air fryer drawer and just let it sit there and the soda crystals will work their magic for a little while the longer you can leave it the better so what i normally do when i ha when i have this like in the evenings if i'm like if we've just finished our meal i will leave the soda crystals and hot water in my air fryer drawer just on the draining board while i'm loading the dishwasher clearing away dinner that kind of thing and then once the dishwasher is loaded up and i've got a bit more space i will wash the drawer up with the soda crystals and hot water have been sitting in my air fryer for probably about five minutes now usually i would like to leave it a little bit longer if i can but i can see that like you can usually tell when you look at the water that the grease has started lifting up already. So now is a good time to take your dishmatic sponge. Um, you can fill it up with washing up liquid or you could always put the liquid soda crystals in there as well. So this is just really good at getting away like the last scraps of grease. So I'll leave that till last. So what I like to do first, I don't submerge it into the washing up liquid because otherwise then you get your whole bowl of water really greasy. So I will clean the air fryer with the dishmatic using the soda crystal -y water because that's just lifting the grease. So I'm gonna go in there now and do that. Pop the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So just get in there and start lifting up some of that grease off of the crisper tray which is this part here and then just kind of knock some of that down see on the back all the grease there it's just coming away really nicely you're not having to work hard to scrub at it 
you can put this part in the dishwasher as well if you like to but we tend to wash it by hand most of the time so I'm not sure if you can tell but all that grease is coming away really nicely the sponge is giving me a little bit more soap now it's cleaning it getting rid of that grease a little bit more so I'll just tap that off and I leave that in the middle part of my sink and now I'm going to go in with my dish matic again and just clean the bottom of the drawer a bit more which was very greasy you might remember I'm satisfied that I have moved everything around with the soda crystals and the tray isn't looking too greasy what I then do I will pour all of this down the sink away because you don't want to be washing up with it because it's still quite greasy so I pour that down the sink see there it's really dirty water and that's what you're left with tiny bit of grease which will just lift you can probably put a bit of water in there it's just lifted away then I'll rinse that dish matic with some clean water and then I will then wash it up in my clean bowl of washing up liquid. You could take a cloth as well at this point if you wanted to. Um, clean the outside of the drawer now too. I don't even need to use the liquid soda crystals on this occasion and you saw how greasy it was at the start so that just goes to show how incredibly powerful the soda crystals are at removing grease and dirt. I go in again with Dishmatic just in case there's like a greasy residue it will take that off. A bit of a scrub with the clean water now. And this is honestly the best way that I have found to get my air fryer drawer so clean. There's no residue and I'm always really satisfied with the results. And it's just so simple to clean. Um, this is just such a foolproof way of getting your air fryer drawer sparkling clean every single time. Sometimes I will just run a little bit more hot water over it just to get any, if it feels a bit greasy, but it doesn't today, it just feels really clean. That's what the crisper tray is looking like. I'm just going to leave it to air dry for a few minutes then I'll dry it up and then in terms of the air fryer itself it usually just needs a very quick wipe around there's never usually any residue in the air fryer so I take my cloth wring it out as much as possible so it's not really soaking wet Here we have the finished result of the clean like i'm not sure if you can see how sparkling that is there is not a sign of any of that grease when i run my finger around it just, just does not feel greasy at all it's just super clean and sparkling i'm always really happy with the results when i use the soda crystals um, so i just thought i would share this cleaning video with you and i hope that you find it useful um, leave me a comment down below telling me if you've used soda crystals ever to clean your air fryer and if you have then why not you need to try it um, because the results are really good so yeah hopefully you found this video useful give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and do subscribe if you're not already for lots of cleaning content and mum life I make lots of videos similar to this so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye